Welcome back. A little update on the 55. We are decided the motor is not going to come undone. It's, it's, it's completely stuck. So the gentleman owns the car says, get rid of it. I've got a motor on the way. So it's probably going to go. I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to go back like it is now. Like with the carburetors and breathers and all, is it going to go that way? I don't know yet. Don't know yet. I'm going to take this motor to get it, um, you know, check out, see if we can put it back with this motor. If not, then he will buy a motor. Okay. So, uh, and a five speed, no, six speed transmission is going in it uh, with uh, bucket seats front and back with a full console from the dash to the rear seat. Wow, so we're losing the originality. We are losing the originality. I know a lot of against you. Against our. Yeah, our, our say so, but it's not ours. So we're just yeah. we're just the people that's doing the work. Yep. Well, technically him. <laughs> <laughs> technically him. I, I ain't had time to work on nothing no more. So I'll give you a little view of what's going down, and while he goes and looks for a little flashlight, we call David, and David seems to grow legs every time we turn around. So. He off. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Here we are uh, again this morning at this old shop, uh, resuming the process of taking the engine out of the 55 Chevrolet. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few things that's going on this morning and what we are doing to complete this project to get the motor sent off to the rebuilders. So what we've done, sorry about my shaking there, what we've done, we have taken and Remove the tie bar, the top part of the radio support. And by doing this, we had to drill that drill out some spot wells. We did it so that if we need to put this back in, we can spot these back in and clean it up and it won't look like it's ever been taken out. But the owner says he's gonna put in a whole new chrome radio support. So that's not an issue. So we'll get rid of this. And the next is the engine is all undone already we got the cherry picker here and we're ready to take it out so the next little video will be when we got the engine on the hoist and coming out of the car and the reason I'm taking this tie bar out is it makes the engine easier to come up and come straight out we can actually leave the hood on which you can see we still got the hood on we can leave the hood on and uh well, this is what happens when you uh, don't check your equipment very well. The bolt didn't have a nut on the other end for some reason. I don't know why. And it came out. The chain came off. Luckily, the motor dropped before I got to the grill. That would have been very, 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 very bad. Okay. Lesson learned here. Check your equipment before you start. Especially when you hadn't used it in a while. Till next time. Well, my first video wasn't too good, you know, and I'm not good at this. This is what my son does. Shane. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got it out. Look. There she is. Hanging on the hook, guys. Motor is officially out of the 55 Chevrolet. Next step is to send it off to the rebuilder and hope it's a good one. Thank you.